Hello YouTubers, this is Goldsneer with another tutorial for YouTube. I got request after request to see how if I can do uh, levitation with Harry Potter being out and all this magic stuff uh, the movies happening. Levitation seems to be a popular request among uh, YouTubers now, especially people with Sony Vegas or any kind of editing software. Um, basically what we're going to do, this is, uh, this is actually what this basically is, is keyframing and masking. If you don't know how to do keyframing and masking, you can check my uh, previous video that has the, uh, the instructions to do masking and keyframing. If you please click the uh, link above, it will take you to my other video about how to do uh, keyframing and masking. If you haven't already, if you know how to do keyframing and masking, we can move on. There's two ways to do this. There's uh, keyframe and masking, and there's chroma key with a green screen. But I do not know how to do this, um, so if anybody knows how to do it with, I know how to do the masking part, but I don't know how to do the chroma key part. So if anybody knows how to do it, please put a video response to this video. Okay, so what you need to do to set it up, you don't need to just film uh, one clip, film a little bit with your object that you want to levitate in place. Don't move it, keep it still, and maybe a few seconds to put this, uh, the object you want to levitate out of shot, and then film how you want it to play out. And then, um, the reason that we took the TV out of the shot, or where we want to levitate, is because it's going to be a picture, so when we levitate, there's no uh, another TV on the bottom. So, um, now let's go to Sony Vegas and see how we do this effect with Sony Vegas 9 Pro. Hello, um, we're back and you see this, um, we're in a um, Sony Vegas 9 Pro and to do this is pretty simple. Um, if you have these black bars, just click on switches, maintain aspect ratio, bank pen and crop, uh, no, no, maintain aspect ratio, match for aspect ratio, and you're done. Alright, to do this effect is pretty simple. What you need to do, um, or to do this effect, is to um, take a picture of the... Go ahead and find when you're not in the shot, and take a picture by pressing snapshot to file, then save, and it'll show in your project medias, project media. Drag that down, uh, put the length of the clip if you're doing it for long, and you see where the um, gotta see where you go out. Um, you could the event pan and crop, and here comes the tedious part of um, masking out. We're going to do a rough mask. And that's basically... Uh, a little bit bad, but you get the choice. You can do it a bit more uh, faster or slow if you want. Um, to click e each bit of a nose, you want to click left click on the software and click on deselect all, and then press a control key on your keyboard to click the invisible nodes so to move them. There you go. And to now you're able to when you now you're able to do the part that is easier, much more simple. To make it move, to lift up, uh, the same thing you would do if you do, if you did a um, if you did a, a media generator. Um, move the clip to if you're just doing a simple up and down. You can go to the middle and then move it up.
and then in the clip oop, too much put it back down so it goes up and then back down and you can do the event panning crop a bit more uh, if you wanted to do a tedious work to make it look a bit better you would do it like that And that's how you do simple chromatic, uh, simple chromatic, simple um, levitation with Sony Vegas Pro. Please comment, rate, and subscribe this video. Thank you.